We are students of the Anahua Cancun University. On this occasion, we are going to share a topic of great importance in the training of new doctors. The subject is the following. How should bad news be informed to patients? And we are Jorge Chavez Tinajero and Ricardo Adaiku. We would like to say that the main task of the doctor is to cure the disease. But in some cases, when it is not possible, it is necessary to be prepared to give bad news in an appropriate way, without causing unnecessary suffering for the patient and their relatives, based on the principles of bioethics and giving the best quality of life in the last moment of the patient. How should bad news be communicated? Step 1. Interview preparation. First, review the term of the clinical history and confirm diagnosis. Make use of available evidence. Prepare mentally what you have to say, as well as how to say it. Have a previous place. Keep the patient close to family members if desired. Favor an environment of interest and respect. Start the interview with a getting and introduce yourself correctly. Step 2. Discover what the patient knows. Before speaking, ask. Find out how much the patient knows about the problem. It is important that the patient feel in a position to receive the news. Seeking help from a family member who has confidence, whether present or not. Look at the patient's non-verbal communication. If the patient is not ready, request psychological support. Step 3. Recognize how much the patient wants to know. Match what we want to tell the patient. What he wants to know about his illness. Given the refusal to receive the information, we should not worry because it is a right of the patient to decline the information and it is considered a psychological understable defense mechanism. Step 4. Communicate the information to the patient. Use simple and appropriate language at the intellectual and cultural level of the patient. Give the patient time to prepare for the emotional blow and thus be able to alleviate the impact of the bad news using an introductory phrase such as I'm afraid that his evolution is not what we expected. Provide the information in small portions to allow time for the receiver to assimilate them. Be as realistic as possible with the content of the message. Step 5. Respond to the patient's reactions. Faced with an unfavorable diagnosis, the patient can react in different ways, which can be socially acceptable as crying or not acceptable, such as threatening the doctor or breaking things. Avoid responding aggressively and try to keep that patient calm. Allow the patient reaction that help cope with the problem as an adaptation. The patient's emotional reaction increases the degree of anxiety intervened to help. The most effective way to counteract the action of the patient is by offering support and solidarity through an empathic response. And finally, step 6. Design a therapeutic plan to follow. Help organize and give a solution to the problem. This is what distinguishes even professional from a well-meaning friend. Show the patient that you are on their side and draw up a therapeutic plan to follow. If the patient asks for his prognosis, spread a realistic hope. Always bear in mind the opinions and points of view of the patient and the relative. Be sensitive to discuss conflicting or intimate issues. Explain and justify the tests and treatments to be performed. Establish alternative plans in case of a treatment or test does not work. Transmit to the patient and his family that they will not be abandoned to their fate and that you are committed to the design therapeutic plan. Make a final summary during the set and clarify doubts. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Jorge Chavez. How are you? I think fine. Okay, I am glad to see you again and I would like to comment on the last details regarding your illness. But first of all, I would like to know if you have any doubt about what is happening and how it has been felt in the past few days. I don't know. I used to feel bad. My main task has been to take care of your health and so I will continue doing whatever happens. The therapy that we have been using has given us very good results. However, his disease continued to evolve over the days. It is very important that you know what is happening. I want you to know that you have my full support and I share a lot of, of what you feel. The disease that you present is very advanced and the therapies that we, that we will be using will help us for a certain time. After this time, your health will be out of my reach. I am afraid that we will only be able to maintain his, your stable health for a month. I commit myself during all this time and I will do everything possible so that you can feel at peace. 
I would like to know if you would like to ask me something or, or want to know more about your situation. Could you tell me the name of one of your close relatives so he can spend time with you? Yes, I can. My mom. Okay. For the time, it has been everything. But I want you to know that we will be here for you and that, and that we will do everything possible to go ahead. Any questions or comments that you have now or in the future, I will be at your service. Thank you.